Hi everybody, it's Dandruff with your news cartridge for Tuesday, December 15th, 2015. Pokémon Tournament, the Pokémon fighting game, will be getting a special controller for Wii U, but only in Japan. The old 90s cartoon Biker Mice from Mars has gotten a mobile game because they're scraping the bottom of the barrel for ideas. And Five Nights at Freddy's novel is coming out next week on the 22nd, but the title will be unveiled tomorrow. See what I've got for you today on News Cartridge. Hideo Kojima has left Konami. It is official. It's what everyone's talking about and is, of course, our top story for today. A Japanese website, the Nakai, has reported that as of December 15th, 2015, Konami and Kojima have finally split ways as his contract has expired. Mr. Kojima is in talks with Sony Entertainment in order to release his first game on the PlayStation platform with a new studio that he is also in the process of founding. This feels like a giant weight lifted from every everyone's shoulders, I've, uh, I would imagine from uh, Mr. Kojima's especially, and bring some closure to this whole ordeal that I have been following practically since my show started. One of the first things I remember was the removal of his logo from Metal Gear Solid 5 and the empty questions that it left behind. Then the final straw was Konami not allowing him to attend the video game awards where his game Metal Gear Solid 5 won two awards. I wish Mr. Kojima well and look forward to his next game or whatever that may be. I encourage everyone to vote with your wallet and do not forget what Konami has done. I will personally be never giving them any money again. You know it was coming, so here it is. Fuck Konami. Rocket League has had yet another update, adding more free content to the game and a festive theme. This game just keeps getting better and better and better. New holiday themed loot is available from now until January 4th, so hurry up and play if you want the new Christmas Rocket Trail, Blitzen Topper, Christmas Tree Topper, Sad Sapling Topper, Santa Topper, Candy Cane Antenna, Holiday Gift Antenna, and many, many more. But of course, the fun doesn't stop there. A new mode called Snow Day, which is a 3D 3v3 in a hockey style arena, and to top it off, the ball is shaped like a puck. Really cool. Be sure to catch me streaming Rocket League this week or sometimes in the next couple weeks on my Twitch channel and leave your comments below about how much you love or hate Rocket League. We've got a trailer in the quick spot for today and this one is for Turok the Dinosaur Hunter. Oh, this game takes me back. Turok debuted on the Nintendo 64 and PC and is a single player first person shooter with an amazing story, level design, and incredible boss fights. I did get to play Turok a bit when I was younger, but unfortunately was never one of the games that I personally own. But now, in just two days, you'll be able to pick it up on your favorite PC distributor, including Steam, GOG, and the Humble Store. Ah, uh, classic. Finally for today, yet another developer has gone back on their word and put microtransactions in a game when they originally said they wouldn't. Following the likes of publisher Overkill with their game Payday 2, Bungie has added microtransactions to the game Destiny, bringing along with it a pay-to-win element as well. Once regarded as just an experiment because it was actually discovered previously by people scouring through the game code, it seems that microtransactions were in a experimental phase and have have now gone into implementation. You can now buy for 30 US dollars a boost to level 25, the max level being 40, so you still have 15 you have to get yourself, but you also receive subclass boosts which you would have all you would have otherwise needed to have grinded to get. Personally, I don't understand this. Isn't half the fun of playing the game playing the game? What do you think of paying for level boosting? Please leave your comments below. And now we're at tomorrow's game releases for PC, Awake, Final Fantasy VI, Time Umari, Ballroom, Sinless, and Goblins and Grottos. Thank you very much, everybody. This has been News Cartridge. I am Dandruff. I will see you tomorrow. And this is a long one, but I just had to. The other day, my daughter came up to me and asked me, Dad, What's Windows? And I said, Windows runs 32-bit extensions on a graphical shell for a 16-bit patch to an 8-bit operating system originally coded for a 4-bit processor written by a 2-bit company that can't stand 1-bit of competition.